There appears to be a plentiful supply of horror games to keep gamers hooked on the eerie atmosphere throughout the entire current year. And obviously developers are taking the word horror more serious than ever. Looking at the gaming landscape for 2023, it looks to be a promising year with a range of genres to choose from, such as shooting games, role-playing adventures, and open-world exploration titles. But the focus of this list is on the psychological horror games that are sure to make gamers jump out of their seats in fright. Despite this genre having had its ups and downs historically, the really good titles tend to be exceptionally effective in terms of creating scares. Along with some remakes of classic games, there are also some original concepts coming out in 2023. In this video, we are going to showcase a list of some of the most anticipated psychological horror games coming out in the year, and we can assure you that they can give you some nightmares. Something is going on here, and I need to find out what it is. Stray Souls is a third-person horror game with certain areas where the player takes on the role of another character in a first-person view. This title includes a substantial amount of challenges, psychological elements, fighting, and action. An abundance of dialogue and decisions made by the player make the game more captivating and permit you to feel closer to the characters than ever before. Stray Souls follows the dark story of a young man named Daniel as he confronts his history. Along the way, he comes across a woman named Martha, who appears to be aware of more regarding him than what he is cognizant of. Martha, how much longer are you going to keep me waiting in this stump? Just a sec. Look, I really appreciate that you're going through all this trouble for my birthday, but... I'm seriously bored just standing around out here. Relax, it's almost ready. I swear that you've got me out here just a little crack. Dude, chill out, man. Just call me when you find the graveyard. Okay, I'll keep looking around. Daniel gains possession of a home in the suburbs that belonged to his estranged grandmother. On the day he relocates, he meets an enigmatic girl who appears to be aware of the secrets of the residence. As the evening goes on, Daniel gradually discovers the sinister secrets concealed in the house. Ad Infinitum is an upcoming survival horror video game that blends family drama with a World War I setting. Players will assume the role of a German soldier who is struggling to maintain their mental health in the harsh trenches of the Great War. On top of facing off against terrifying creatures, the protagonist must also confront deadly traps, perplexing puzzles, and personal struggles. Ad Infinitum is expected to launch in April 2023 and is generating considerable excitement amongst gamers, so be sure to keep an eye out for this title. Manchmal weiß ich nicht, ob ich träume oder wache, ob ich hier in den Gräben bin oder zurück im Haus in Berlin.
Nobody knows what happened. No one here will help me. It's like they've already buried you in their minds. Prepare to enter the frightening realm of Unholy. This psychological horror game thrusts you into a quest to locate your missing child. To complete your mission, you must traverse from the reality of our world to one where a wicked order of priests has taken control. As you attempt to make it through the game, you will have plenty of tasks to keep you busy. To start with, you will have to investigate both sides of the game and bypass puzzles and quests, such as penetrating restricted areas. That is not all. Eventually, you will create a mask which will give you exceptional powers, but you must design it in a way to fit your requirements, to open what you must have to make it through. So which toys do you want to take? My doggy, the bear, and the fire truck. And your slingshot? Leave it for Grandpa, so he can defend himself against monsters. What monsters will you protect me from now? Mom, I'm here! Basement. I better check it out. Teddy! Teddy! Come here, boy! Into him. Teddy! Teddy, come on now! Paranormal Tales is a virtual reality game that utilizes the first person point of view of a body cam. It follows the narrative of the fictional missing persons and their chilling stories. This game will put you in the test to check if you are brave enough to find out what happened to them and reach the conclusion of the footage. In the game, the Horror Cam Archives team has got a variety of video files. Each one of these is a self-contained experience that will let you investigate what took place to the people who documented these recordings. You will have to investigate several spots, with each one having a completely distinct narrative for the gamer to go through. You will also have the chance to view the world from the perspective of a body cam, with auditory and visual effects to augment the full involvement. The game was designed with an intense level of realism to make a beautiful and lasting experience, powered by Unreal Engine 5. But be careful, the amazing visuals make it even scarier. <sighs> Someone once said insanity runs in our family. Let it run. Fans of Bloober Team's unusual approach to psychological horror should be thrilled to purchase the reconsidered version of the first two Layers of Fear titles in the form of Layers of Fears. The updated version includes extra story and game aspects, which build on Layers of Fear along with Layers of Fear Inheritance and Layers of Fear 2. They say it's a tale of sadness and guilt of an artist trapped in a place beyond redemption. It's a lie. This is a story of my fear, pain, and hatred of the horror of my life. We know that the names are a little bit confusing, but it kind of remind us of Silent Hill and Silent Hills. But sadly, Silent Hills was never released. Hopefully, Layers of Fears will have a different fate, though. All this suffering. There was no other way. And by the way, the game was developed using Unreal Engine 5, which allows for additional features such as ray tracing, HDR, and 4K resolution. 
If you're a fan of scary first-person horror games and haven't tried the original, then this should be on your radar. Ludo is an upcoming horror game that centers around the psychological toll of pain, insecurity, and grief. It gives players an in-depth look into what can happen when someone is unable to leave the confines of their own home. The Future Games show recently released a trailer which provides a glimpse of its chilling and sinister atmosphere. The Steam page for Ludo does not provide much information regarding what the game entails. It hints at an exciting narrative experience involving environmental and sensory horror, with a focus on psychological issues such as anxiety and depression, as well as an exploration of different kinds of fears. The ultimate aim in the game is to manage to get outside your house, and this will require you to traverse a number of pathways that will put your senses to the test. When I watched the preview, I believed that the best option was to be unclear. To put it simply, Luto looks chaotic. There are numerous recognizable horror game conventions observable, such as murky passageways, words scribbled on walls, doors that abruptly open, and of course, the most terrible flashlight. But there are also indications of something even more frightening, like family pictures, suspended toys, labels on the television, and labeled boxes. It seems that memories are the main topic here, and there is no more powerful or successful snare in the world than memories. <laughs> This is the end of today's video. We hope that the games featured on our list lived up to your expectations. 2023 looks like it's going to be a unique year for horror fans, especially that the titles coming out are very diverse, and each one has its own style of creating fear. It doesn't matter if it's haunted houses, empty towns, scary woods, or parallel worlds, the fright is guaranteed one way or another.